mo te aha, mo te Fuji Paulo, mo te Maori tanga no hoki te take. So Aye. they've come all the way from Hokianga to to play in this tournament. Uh, no doubt it's for the passion of rugby league and, and also to represent their whānau from the mm. far north. And and I will say that uh, happening up there in the far north that. Uh, your Fanoka Huni Harawira is actually mm. doing really well for the Far North Rugby League yep. uh, totally. uh, community up there for our Fano and people up there in uh, Ngā Puhi and uh, Taitukuro. Um, and I, I noticed in the last couple of weeks that uh, their competition has been really powerful and strong happening up there. But uh, nonetheless, Fano, this is uh, what we see here is uh, some of the young uh, Kutiro being uh, displayed here at the uh, Rangatahi tournament. And um, and they've always been a strong contester in rugby league uh, right throughout all their grades. Now we've got uh, the Storm now taking it up. And Wakata Māori have um, uh, come up with a big D there. As uh, Storm's come to the left-hand side and, and spin it wide. Making good metres there is the, uh, the winger. Um, <coughs> has, has made some good metres there. Paris Pickering. Uh, good, about good 12 mm. metres here. That's a good uh, nga hukianga name, bro. My great grandmother was uh, Pickery, Ani Pickery. Um, definitely a huge whānau name up north. Just why like, Waikato need to move that defence line up. Um, oh, good oh, stretch yeah. out and Kua, Kua Piro. Kua Piro, it didn't look anything much, but just in that last bit, yeah. she stretched out and scored a try. Definitely the, the Waikato yeah. defence line needs to move forward, uh, shut down the options. Yes. I think uh, I agree with that too, uh, Willie, uh, that um, uh, they never put in, applied enough pressure on defence there. Um, as you can see, the number seven had just handed it on to the uh, big number two and, um, you know, she made a good uh, 10, 12 metres there just just by simply moving forward. I think uh, the defence should have been a bit more compressed yep. um, to allow pressure to, to be put on to, uh, to the storm. Um, but uh, I think the girls just sort of laxed off a bit. I know the hook young the team there were quite ecstatic to score first. Uh, as, as last year, this was uh, perhaps hook young our storms with uh, Te Mahure Hure team from last year. And these two teams here competed in their under 17 finals. It was a well fought battle once again. Te Mahure Hure coming on top there. So I know these hook young storm um, wahine. Really wanted to get on the board first, and they've done that with great uh, yards made in the attack. Waikato just need to yep. move up, and uh, it's only early days, eh? You know, it's early it's days, yeah, um, three minutes. but uh, they've submitted that also with uh, uh, with with the uh, kick uh, to their try. The uh, Willie uh, must be watching some of your kicking videos back <laughs> in the days. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, hope Younger Storms uh, team uh, Arona Achita, uh, Brunt, Sylvia Brunt. Tyler, Daniel, Fat Daniela, Fatiaki, uh, Kairi Rangi, Edmonds, Tatiana Fino, Claudia Fino, Tenapea Chuakana Taina, uh, Bjorn Fort Fortes, uh, Marie Fruan, Trinity Glassy, Teresa Kuku, uh, Renice Martini, uh, Talenza Nelson, Cleo Ofakiniakufu, uh, Paris Pickering, Shanice Pihama, oh, another staunch Ngāpui name. Uh, Monica Samita, Alice Shannon, Jana Suifua, uh, Suanala Tamasi, uh, Ngāreta Tauraki, and Sama Vangilda. See, I think some of our tūpuna must, uh, you know, uh, kwa moi ene, ene ingoa whānau, Vangilda, just some, some pretty good names in there, whānau. Oh, and our wahine, our wahine, a lot of people follow our Wahine game lately. It's on the rise, uh, definitely on the rise. This is probably the seventh year as our Wahine have been yeah. part of our uh, the Te Rangatahi tournament. But you notice this year that it's under 18s. So, um mohi mai koutou, so that you know, uh, they, we've gone for 16s and, and 18s at this Rangatahi tournament for our Wahine. Uh, that will align with the Pan Pacific so that they have an opportunity to select a Waikato, uh, sorry, a New Zealand Māoris team at the end of this tournament. So, you know, there's a lot of pathways. Not only is it about representing your family from your rohe, from your iwi and your hapu, but uh, as a Māori as a whole, because at the end of this tournament, um, the New Zealand Māoris under 18 girls coach, uh, women's coach, uh, Mike Wilson will be selecting a team to participate in the Pan Pacific 
Cup uh, around about October this year. So, you know, a lot of pathways for these ladies. Yeah, I, I think it's wonderful uh, that uh, these are created for them. Uh, Willie, you know, um, it, it, it not only just shows the opportunities, but how far Māori Rugby League has uh, encroached in towards the uh, international calendar and to be able to um, put their foot in or their, their blueprint in their door uh, to be able to, you know, excavate themselves into other opportunities outside of New Zealand too. So Can't it's good to... Uh, penalty there now going to, towards Wakata Māori... Um, uh, wahini, as they uh, look to uh, kick the ball and make extra metres uh, into uh, the Hokianga Storm territory. Kapoi, so our Waikato team, um, in no particular number, however, Paige Walker, uh, Katana Temiha Balo, uh, Piki Tautoko, so Piki Tautoko, Piki Bene, she is actually the captain of this team. Uh, in number one, Jersey Dawn Hohua, in number four, Jersey Trinity. Uh, Crosby uh, out on the wing, Foxy Clue in the, in the halves, Lamaya Inoko. Now, Lamaya came back from Australia about three, four weeks ago with the passion of wanting to play for Waikato. Uh, Boira Hita, Ngamako Totorewa, and Ngamako was the uh, a vice captain for this team. Uh, Mani, Mani Rewa Hau, uh, Pua Wairua, Hohapata, Ohorere Moke Beasley, Kiara Berriman, uh, Keisha. N Keshanan, Tao Mihi Ape Faida, Mi Kirion Nafeki, Apostin Brown, Hirai Nahuhua, Ruby Jean Kinad. Now, Ruby Jean flew in last night, bro. She flew oh. in last night oh. and, and uh, she met up with the girls. Uh, she's been playing rugby league over there. Awesome. She been, uh, her parents tell us that, that she's a, a prop. This mm -hmm. is the slimmest, fittest prop I've ever seen. And she's really got in with the girls already in only one game. Um, and she's always had a passion to want to come and play Māori Rugby League. So just to finish that line-up, Manaya Teho, uh, Kelly or California Clark, and wearing our number eight jersey is Cheyenne Kaitapu. And their coach, uh, Aaron Ezatautoko, uh, assistant coach, Patara Berriman. So you'll be hearing about Patara from Patara later on in the commentary uh, today. And uh, Aaron's pulled his son, Kirei, Kirei Tautoko in there as a, as a trainer uh, and their manager, um, Davina Moke, and uh, they've got a good, good Tautoko, good system, support system in there. And all these ladies want to do brothers play, so there was a good try there. Yeah, so um, it uh, takes the score now 4 6 to the Hokianga Storm. Uh, the first points for Wakatamari scored in their corner by uh, uh, Han Punakai or or the Hurricane, <laughs> hey, The Hurricane Hunt Punakai? Yo, Hunt. Um, Hoapata. Um, so, yeah, there, there was a good try um, and spotted by their standoff to be able to shift their ball wide out towards um, uh, the winger uh, in which Hunt had scored their try. She's, got some, she's got some good vision, uh, Lamaya, um, coming from Australia, being <laughs> part of the system over there for probably the last eight, nine years. Um, Ngā Mako Tōtorewa as well, playing for the Bulldogs over there. He's Han again. Han Punakai. Unfortunately, the uh, Hokianga Storm player decided to, to try and sneakily rip it. Uh, never worked. Oh. I mean, uh, I remember all those ones you used to do, <laughs> mate, all those sneaky pull the ball out. and Oh, wasn't me, ref. Wasn't me. <laughs> I'll tell you what I like about this uh, Hokianga Storm, uh, the Willy, is the, 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 they actually got quite... Uh, uh, passion and enthusiasm by moving up with their ball and running with their ball with, with quite a quite a bit of excitement, you know. Yeah. And um, and uh, that that's where I see that they they can have that edge on top of the Waikato Māori forwards, you know, is well, that they can get that momentum and their roll on going. So there was a uh, um, forward pass here by the dummy half onto Captain uh, Picky. Uh, small things like that, you know, when you're in your own half, we. we we need to um, get rid of that out of the game just so that we can get down the other end and start playing some football. But, you know, the, these ladies are here, the whole 44 of them, 22 on either side, they're here to play football. And Hook Younger do look good. They've got nice long passing there, uh, nice hard running. Yeah, I like the, I like the way that they, they, they run their lines too. Uh, as we've just seen here with that number 11, you know, she, she's got some good lines for second row, you know. And, um, 
And as we see, they, 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 they're just about five metres out from the Waka Mighty try line. The uh, Willie and, uh, you know, the, the, like I said, they, they're playing, or they're moving forward with, with good enthusiasm, you know. And I, I think the Waka Mighty girls are just, just coming off a bit too slow off their line. Yeah, line speed. And not applying their pressure. Line speed needs to be a little bit faster, um, allowing the Hope Young Storm players to, to yeah. gain some huge yards. Yeah. Uh, so, if, you know, if, um, uh, as I can see that, here, no doubt he'll fix that up moving forward. These ladies, these hook younger ladies are running with some good holes, running with some good passion and some yep. good heart. Nice. Yeah, there's a big course. overlap here on this left-hand side, look, you know, and, um, and uh, it's, it's unfortunate that the winger's left out here by herself. Oh, there's a big, big, big gap there in going. The I'm loving the passing, the distance of the passes from these hook younger ladies. It seems so nice and long and all oh, bad luck. Oh, yeah, unfortunate there for uh, the Storm. There's Waikato Māori and let off there with a uh, uh, go forward uh, Storm pack there. So they can have a bit of a breather now, Waikato Māori, and reset. And uh, hopefully they can just, uh, they're in their own half there, Willie, and just keep things simple and just pave the way and and go for the kick down, you know, and try and make those easy meters. Well, you yeah. need the ball. You need the ball in the hand to, uh, to be able to get out of your own half. So, you know, once you just keep it simple, do your three, uh, get a couple of fresh legs from the wingers, taking it from dummy half maybe. Here a bit of speed from out of the dummy half. Yeah, we've got Waka Tamari there now, just gone outside of the 10-meter line. We're the first play the ball. We're going left again now. You got a back door in there. That was not a bad, that was good read from the uh, hook younger now. Yeah. Good read from the winger and the hook younger side. Being able to get Dawn on the outside and uh, great defense taking her over the uh, the sideline there. Mm. I still think they shifted that ball a bit too early, Will. Yep. Uh, they they should have just went for a settle and then got their forwards coming around and just paving the way. Well, um, similar to the last game, you yeah. know, you, you got to earn the right. You got to earn the right to go wide. Yeah. You've got to play the f the three up the middle. Yeah. Uh, you've got to show that you want to get out mm. of your half. Yeah. And then on the back of that, uh, you know, uh, well, we'll put a good kick position down is the game, eh? You know, right. yeah, you know, position is the game. So being in the red zone, you know, should be eliminating all those uh, extra passes. You know, uh, well, this is a good offload here because you know. The, you know, the Storm can do that because they're in their green zone to be able to do that. Um, you know, it's just unfortunate Waka Tamari is pushing uh, one, one pass too many. Here we now, we've got the Storm moving up in uh, this number 11. I like the way she runs. She's got some really good lines. Um, bit of speed, Storm. Yeah, sort of speed for Yeah, her. yeah, you yeah. Know, like she um, reminds me of a bit, a bit of a Ali Lawatiti. So that's Sylvia the height, Brunt. The height and the speed yeah. that she, you know, she's getting in. And, and if she can get some players running off him, uh, she, she'll be a menace all day. Just a short short offload, a, a pop pass here and there. Yeah. So we're coming back now to the left-hand side in uh, the Māori's defence. Uh, Waka the Māori defence looking pretty good. Um, Storm now still, still got an overlap here on this left-hand side. It seems to be the weak, head, weak side of the Waka the Māori. And uh, however Storm try and do this, it, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting how they play it out. So it'll be a drop kick for Waka Māori. It's a bit of a breather for them at the stage and take a bit of pressure off them. Bit of composure, really. Um, you know, a lot of people see the drop kick as a, as a time of uh, bringing everything back in, and hopefully the leaders out in their team are uh, are having a coordinator with them about what what needs to happen from here. Here we now we got Waka Māori now um, drop kick up. So they've gone just over the 30 metre line, 35 metres uh, into their own half and uh, Storms bring it back um, through their number five. Uh, Paris Pickering has gone in for their chittle. They're going up now to the to, to the other winger, their number two, um, Shans, Shanzi Pihama. Pihima. Uh, they uh, we'll wide wide had to do a whana taka, a whana taka. That was a chop. Good, good settle there by the Storm. You know, now they split both ways, and I see they have an overlap on their right-hand side, but they're taking their ball to their line. I think they need some of those short runners coming off to me. Eh? Uh, 
Yep. Uh, when they take it to the Lord here at the moment, you know, if the number's right. Oh, look, 5 on 4. Here we go. But the now. only way that they're going to not score is if yep. Waikato get off that line as fast as they do. Waikato Māori defense has been strong so far. They just have to persevere and keep their composure and not, oh. you know, not get caught out. Penalty there. For how many are now? Waikato, Waikato uh, moving too fast off that line. They're coming off side. So for how many penalised penalty? See, all of these uh, Hokianga runs from here in the last two or three sets have been towards their goalpost. Ooh, good Ooh, we've got a bit of a side stepper there Ooh, for a big girl. A magic but here we go, look, we got a we got an open side here to the Yeah, it's always been down that left hand side there, Willie, and um yeah. it's just unfortunate Waikato Māori haven't had enough players to come down and support the winger. Yeah, communication uh, now uh, may may have fixed that. Um I think I think this Waikato uh right hand side, defence side, who uh, have um pushed in a bit too far and left too much of a gap out on the outside. Yeah. So so and we've uh, hook young expose it by scoring in the left hand corner there. Yeah, that was through the number 19, Tiana Suifua. He scored in that left hand side, and now we'll go for the kick. So that making it uh, uh, to go. Ki hook young up, ki te fa, ki waikato, and uh, still with the kick to come. I can see uh, Kire under the goalpost here with the Waikato girls. Um, they're having a kōrero to see what they need to uh, fix up uh, prior to the next restart of the game. So it looks like we have uh, three coming on. Uh, our number 22, Kale Clark. She's coming on for Cheyenne Kaitapu. Uh, number 14, Kiara Berriman. Coming on for Ngamako. Uh, Moira Heta. Yeah, unfortunate kick there um, by the Hokianga Storm. It takes them now to 10 4 against Wakata Māori Kutiro under 18s. Oh. What, do you, what do you see that Wakata Māori should do from here, uh, Will? Oh, um, definitely up the intensity. Uh, up the intensity, shift off the line when they're on D. <coughs> uh, communication is a must. We've mentioned. Um, Old teams of the past, like in the past 10 years, maybe 15 years within our Waikato area, such as Tani Faro and Tūranga Waiwai, they were formidable for talking, even if they didn't have the ball. And it's actually quite scary, and we all know that when we go into a crowded room and all you can hear is people talking and you're trying to talk, you can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, teams like Tūranga Waiwai and Tani Faro in the past were formidable for just chatting. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's so one, the opposition don't hear their own calls, <laughs> and two puts a bit of fear in them. Mm. So if they can up that game and uh, up the intensity, um, feel kapoi in the ngako too. You gotta, you know, don't be that so hard on yourself, but do the little stuff right. And we yep. can come back. It's only team yep. four. We're yep. still in the first half. Six minutes ago in the first half, uh, here's a great run again by the number eleven. Storms now keeping it to their right hand side. But they've got a big back line here waiting for their ball in the left hand side. So they're keeping it close, they're keeping it short, and they're leaving enough space for their back line to set up. Um, I think Waikato Māori need to be able to still play their, their forward game and, start, and keep, keep their ball in close to them where they can control it rather than shifting it wide. Here we've got the Storm going through a back door, coming out to their left hand side again. But I think that uh, Wakata Māori are quite on to that to close it off. We've got a knock-on there. Aye, taka um, whakamua. Knock-on, taka whakamua. Aye. <coughs> Which is um, fortunate enough for uh, for our uh, uh, Wakata Māori side. You say the referee, because of the taka whakamua, he's uh, called a, a kakari, a scrum. Kei a Waikato te pauru, kei a Lamaia te pauru. So she's got the ball at the moment. Uh, for the Waikato team. So the hope is here by the area is that they get out of this half. Yep. Want to see what they can do in the opposition half. Uh, we've got a great pass to Foxy Clue. Yeah. Then this is where I think now the forwards this is where the forwards should be getting into this now. Yeah. Well, you know they need to come in close and because most of the storm forwards are actually out towards the middle. Yep. Um, so the Waikato Māori forwards should be coming in close and trying to drag their forwards down to them. And once they come down and go back to the open again, you know, and that's what I was talking to Ernie about before, about cat and mouse. And I don't think there's enough of that happening in these games today. 
is that they, you know, because um, everything now is run off the house and that, so they're dictating the game. But I still think there should be enough forward initiative there to be able to play you cat and mouse forward. because gotta hey, through the middle, eh? gotta yeah, through the middle, and then uh, like you say, always well, you, you still got to win that battle, right. Libra, yep. You know, that, that's the thing. You, you got to try and win that battle. Um, at this at this uh, stage, you know, oh, well, fara, fara tetehi. Um, one of our hook younger ladies is uh, uh, being taken off. Um, doesn't look too serious, and I hope it's not. You know, we don't want our our girls getting, or well, anybody actually, getting hurt uh, seriously mm. hurt uh, while playing in this tournament. Um, so we also have another change on for Waikato. Uh, number 16, Nohorere Mokibiji, comes onto the field as we have a replacement. Um, hopefully that the young lady there, can't see her number at the moment, mate, but uh, hopefully she's okay and that she gets to enjoy the rest of the tournament with her family. Oh, yes, look, cup You we get uh, Moira, Moira Heta, Heta taking it up. for Waka to Māori, going out there to Piki. Um, the Waka to Māori have gone to the left-hand side. Oh, for how many? You know, uh, Eddie, with the play of the ball, the way things are and the way uh, refs are looking now, uh, you know, hold them down and get straight back up and then mm. hide it on you. Uh, none of this uh, rudu stuff on the ground. You know, we want to try and keep our game clean. You know, get up, play the ball, no pushing, or else you're going to. For how many? But Sorry. I do like this defense. So Waikato's actually down in, in the <laughs> opposition half at the moment. So that's good. So we had a uh, good settle up there by um, uh, Kelly and uh, Kelly Clark and uh, Piggy Mini uh, Taitoko. He's already Moki Beasley um, taking it in, taking one in close to the post. Or coming in closer. Kapai Tiara. Oh. Unfortunately, I think held up there on the line. Well, it was a good, in you yeah, know, uh, yeah, it, was, it was held up. You, you, you and I uh, can't see that far. Lucky we've got a TV <laughs> in this area here. So a bit blind at our age, but however, the ref has, uh, has adjudicated. So that's no try, you were right, held up. So that's uh, uh, our uh, first half for the uh, under 18 Kotero Fano. Hokianga uh, Hokianga Storms leading ten to uh, Waikato Māori four. There's and so much to like about this Hokianga side. Uh, I mean Waikato yes they're behind on the scoreboard and it looks like they Hokianga should have a lot more in terms of points, uh, but they're hanging in there. Yeah, they're hanging in there Waikato, and uh, you know you got to pay pay the effort there. It doesn't look too tidy, but hey, they're um, they're only six points behind on the board. Uh, as with uh, the skills and what Hook Young are going through, great running, great passing, long passes. I think even Wally Lewis would be proud of some of those long passes. So, uh, if you were the coach now for Waka Tamari, uh, well, what would you be saying to your team right now and how to respond to uh, the six point deficit? Well, knowing uh, Ezra like I do, he, he'll be just saying, go through the motions. We've spoken about our uh, game plan. But right now, he'd probably be telling them, okay, let's get back to what we know. Kapai, which is what we've been talking about, the three three in the middle, in the right, before we go wide. Yep. Uh, we've noticed that uh, as they've gone wide, too early, we run out of uh, ideas, and um, we've gone out of touch. Uh, the passes haven't been quite on the ball. But knowing, yeah, knowing Aaron and, and the way he's been with these girls, Let's just go back to what we know and awesome. settle it down. Uh, we're still in this game. We're only behind by six, and it's go through our paces and what we need to need to do. And and for the leaders uh, to take a bit more ownership in in terms of what needs to happen on that field, because awesome. as you're right, you said before the six and seven dictate a lot of what happens mm. these days. Yeah. Um, and then so the likes of Piki and Ngamako, I can see them taking over a little bit more. And, and running it through, especially when we're uh, five, ten metres out from the trailer. Mean. Well, that's us, Fano. We're 10 4 here at half time at the International Stadium as we wrap up this first half. We'll be back to you in about four minutes' time. Karatate.
Our under 15 Kotero Trophy is named after Kathy Friend or Bubs as she's known. Huge connection to rugby league and a huge store of the game. Uh, New Zealand Māori Rugby League and Auckland Rugby League, of course, uh, related to uh, you know, the Bell family, the Gwyn family, and also uh, her, her, her mokopuna and her, her sons. Uh, just a huge, huge involvement has uh, as Kathy or Bubs Friend as she's known. Our Sevenins Kotero Tonga is the uh, Christine Panapa Tonga, a huge contribution to uh, Wahine To and Kotero Rugby League uh, with Christine, uh, recognised with a New Zealand uh, Order of Merit Award from the Government, Government General. Uh, just uh, a huge uh, participation, of course, with Papa coming from the Asher family, going right back to the beginning of uh, Rugby League. A uh, huge honour to have Christine's name associated to our Tonga. Uh, chicken half of the game between the Hokianga Storms, Wahine under 18s, and Waikato Māori, uh, Wahine under 18s, and the score being 10 to Hokianga and 4 to Waikato. We still got 20 odd minutes, 25, uh, however long the game, for 30 minutes, I think. Um, so, you know, we were just talking off here on what needs to happen. So, if I was, uh, oh, yep, 25 minutes. Um, so, Waikato need to comms and move that D line up uh, a lot faster. Hokianga are looking really good. Um, I don't see that they need to improve on anything. But here's a short kickoff by from Dawn. Oh, Ooh, unfortunately, uh, knocked on there by Foxy, uh, the right winger for the wake up to Wahine side. Good idea though, that short, short kick. Yeah. It was on. It was on. She actually had the ball. She I got up higher than the other lady. But um, I saw in some of the earlier games this morning they were doing exactly that. Well, I see two our girls on the way here, bro. I see two our girls on the way here. Yeah. What's <coughs> the plan now that it's foggy in the garden now? I said, geez, you know, I'm, oh, I used to be a hooker, so I'm a cheeky fella. <laughs> Me and the halfbacks, so oh, well, I'll be putting the ball up into their fog so that they can't see the ball when it comes down. And here we are now. We've got the storm. Uh, moving up and towards uh, Wakato Māori's uh, half. Once again, still though, she, that, uh, she made 10 metres here. See, Waikato are coming up, but just not fast enough. Yeah, they need to be running up. And the thing about the Storm forwards I like is that they're just running straight to you. Know? There's nothing flashing. They're not sidestepping, trying to think they've got to beat the person. They're not to try score. Here we go again. Good cut there, and they're number 11 again for the Storm. She'll be pretty awesome, I think. Chinese? Yeah. Uh, Sylvia Brunt. Oh. She's been really good. Sylvia Brunt? Oh, yeah. Brunt's a pretty pretty good league name in uh, Waikato. <laughs> <laughs> With and the brothers, Stewie and Greg. Here we go now. Yep, there's a kick going up. We're coming in. Oop, knock on there. Oh, oh how many? Unfortunate how many? offside there by Waikato Māori. Yep, Trinity and unfortunately in front of Dawn um, when she took a fucker move of the ball. Um, and, and, and that's offside. So, so the Storm have a penalty 20 metres out from the, the try line. Waikot yep. just needs to press that defence up, up as fast as they can. Yep. See, like you say, nothing flash, just running the ball forward, running it to the goal line. The shortest way to the goal line, people, is straight. Here we go now, Storm, look at that, look, they're moving forward with that energy, the, uh, well, they're only, what, four metres out from the Wakata Māori try line now. There's a huge gap there by in between Moira and uh, Kiara. Here we are, applying the pressure now, the Storm, they're half a metre off the try line now, what are they going to do from here? They get it out wide, coming out to the right, it's good that Wakata Māori have cut off the option, so it's forced the Storm back in the middle. Ooh. But the pressure is still there. Look, Storm is still, still applying the pressure. They're coming out to this right again. They're throwing that wide, sweeping it back in the middle. Bit of a knock on. Oh, Unfortunately, there by the Storm, but it takes the pressure off Wakata Māori there. So, so perhaps uh, that pressure from the defence line and pushing up on the defence line was actually the reason why they could have dropped their ball. Yeah. Um, they went, tried to go back in. There was nothing happening outside, so they tried to go back in. And uh, unfortunately, 
And the, the Hukianga Storm player uh, knocked the ball forward. So Waikato have a good opportunity here. I remember in situations like that, the old great Joe Gwynn, uh, when we played for the Cougars, he, he used to use the umbrella defense to, umbrella. to, yep. to squeeze that off and cut the options out and force force the opposition to run into that uh, into that hole. We got now Waikato Māori taking it out um, from the scrum. Joe actually made that quite famous in Waikato, that uh, umbrella D. <laughs> I still use it today, my friend. So do I, actually, my mate. So do I. And, uh, you know, um, since we're here in the, the Rotorua, Tarawa region, um, my dad's older brother, Manuel, Manny, Manny Beasley, uh, he also used it in his um, 10 years of coaching the Bay of Plenty Touch Team uh, to, to glory. Uh, 10 years in a row, the mixed, Bay of Plenty Mixed Team won, and it was based upon... The umbrella defense. As long as the pace is right and everybody's in, involved in it, uh, to, it's actually quite a good plan. So, money to what? Money. Um, taking the ball up straight off the tap from Page. Uh, Kara hitting him to the uh, W half now. And no doubt, Lamar will be the first receiver. Yeah, we got the Marty now on the trot. They keep, they're moving forward. They're right just now, uh, up to the halfway line now. Look at the Māori head out to their right hand side, taken up by Shai and Katipa there. Good metres there by Cheyenne as we now look forward to the right hand side. Shifting that ball. Another, well, uh, another easy, penalty there for Waka the Māori. Some easy yardage there, my Some easy yardage with some. Um, uh, Hokianga deciding, well not deciding, but uh, giving easy penalties away. And uh, gets Waikato up to the 10 metre line, 10 metres out from the title. Good the metres there by Kiara. Good metres there by Kiara. They're good inside ball. Lovely tackle. Oh, Bad unfortunate. Luck. Hokianga storm offside again. Unfortunate penalty back uh, to, to them. So now we're getting the captain questioning the... Uh, I think I think the referee has realised you know three or four penalties now, and needs to talk to the captain and uh, make her understand that there's just too much of it. Uh, perhaps perhaps we're getting to that stage of next penalty somebody needs to go. Hope not because yeah. it's um that's not how Tamari now. The advance is there. He want to finish that. Heading up, heading towards uh, the short of the try line. Is now Cheyenne. Taking the ball up, just just short again to the try line also. And we're coming left, we're swinging left. Page is taking it in, unfortunately. I think I think uh, Waikato a little bit too again. deep. A little bit too deep. They're lucky again there, Waikato. Another penalty. Good D though. Loving the hook young defense on, on the... T I mean, they've had a few tackles and they still haven't gone through Waikato. Yeah. This is where our forwards need to start getting in there to settle in the ball rather than leaving it to those, those little nippy ones. The little ones, ones we need to... Uh... Yep, look at that. They shoot now wide. Good defense there from uh, from the Storm. Look at the Māori need to get in there. Oh, someone's been sent to the bin. Oh, may maybe the assistant coach, he's uh, been asked to come back to the side where they're doing the interchange. We're going back to the interchange box. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just the runner. Yeah, water boy. Yeah, once again, the water boys, you know, uh, just like everybody else, all the coaching staff do this for Aroha, uh, for the passion and their love of uh, rugby league. So we resume with Waikato Māori getting the ball. Picky Mene out to uh, Ramako. Ramako's standing a bit wider than normal, if I haven't looked right. This is some great rushing defense by mm. the uh, Hokuyama Storm yeah. team. Uh, Waikato are finding it pretty hard to, to break through the line, and mm. they need to shift that ball out wide. And oh, it's unfortunate there. That, that was, um, yeah, not a great pass. Uh, Paige isn't that tall. I would have perhaps let that ball go over my head and 
and rely on my outside to uh, get the ball instead of making an obvious uh, knock on there. Mm. I mean, it been a great defence by Hook Younger. Uh, Waikato probably 10, 12 um, tries at the line. Uh, and uh, Hook Younger Storm repelled them every time. So Waikato back on defence. Hopefully they can do the same, rush that line up. Well, they've had uh, uh, four penalties go against them in, uh, just in a short span of time there, the, the Storm bully. So um, they've withstood that and uh, held, held, held off on defence uh, from the onslaught of Waikato Māori, but um, it's unfortunate that Waikato Māori never capitalised on those opportunities. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, but you know, you, you and I both saw how great uh, that rushing defence from the Hokianga Storm team was, and so it's pretty hard to get on the outside of that once they uh, start coming towards you. Yeah. And, oh, uh, great here run we are now, here. A bit of a break there. Oh, that number that 11 number again. Even. I'm sure she's a back, my bro. I don't think she's... <laughs> <laughs> she she's runs, been an awesome she runs. player, that, that, that Sylvia Brunt. Yep, she runs uh, like she's in the centres. And she's actually playing that. Oh, great. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That's Which, clever. Oh, good oh. defence, though, by... Oh, oh by unfortunate Foxy. offside. Offside in front of the... Penalty goes to uh, Wakata Māori. Unfortunate for the Storm there again. Um, mm. The winger was offside there at the kick of, kick, kick of the ball. Gee, clever though, to put try and put a ball over the top there. The idea was there, my brother. The idea eh? was there, it, it was there. implemented well, and uh, I think if they weren't offside, yep. there could have been some, could have been somebody going over in that corner, in that far corner there for Hokianga. So welcome to Māori now, have a bit of a breather, uh, as they made uh, some easy metres down line from from uh, penalty kick. So um, now welcome to Māori, who are on their 30 metre line as they um, progress upfield towards uh, uh, the Hooky on the Storm um, territory. There we go, we get a good uh, uh, good metres there made by um, well, Wakata Māori. And here we got... Um, well, I think that's their leader trying to uh, yeah. lead my bro, so Picky. Yep. Picky, you know, that was a great run by Picky. And here's the next one. See, great yard going forward and uh, on the back of both captain and vice captain the experience mm. there's some good meters there by Hiraina and um, and Cheyenne it's unfortunate another penalty against the storm and there we uh, have uh, Foxy Clue taking their ball forward Oh, a little bit high. Ah, pretty many. Uh, wake up to the captain taking that ball in me. Let's oh. see what. Let's see if they can see what they do. Uh, area and then let's see what they can see if they can at least try and bend this hooky on the mm. defense. Um, they've spent a lot of time up here, you know. So and and hooky on have been quite resilient, you know. Yeah, uh, they. We are the rise and they, the same they're down with the player now. They're down with the player hooking on the storm. So there's a, 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 a big advantage right there just with numbers here. We've got Dor, um as we've got Hidaina coming back in. On the left hand side. Kiara at the helm now, out towards Cheyenne. This is this is where our props need to be running onto their ball yeah, and not stabilizing it. Yeah. Can't be standing. Uh, that's red zone play doing all that stuff down there. But here we go, we're getting out from Dawn and it's coming out to that back line. Needs to be shifted again. Go give it. Unfortunately, took it oh. in. And uh, four or five tacklers here on him. Uh, one more pass. And I think uh, Hunt would have been over. Oh, good one in pass. Oh, there's Dawn oh. uh, over in the great offload. That was a great offload. He was there for him. Boston. It? it looked like Boston to me. Must uh, be watching your one hand passes in the days <laughs> of uh, <laughs> Here we go, look, coming up here. That was a great one hand off It was, uh, it was beautiful. I mean, hey. Lucky Dawn was here, uh, you know, waiting. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, she's obviously been watching your one handed videos the uh, my bro. Uh. <laughs> it resulted in a try. So uh, that, that was a good try there for Waka to Māori. They needed it. Um, as time was eating away. 
Well, there's just over, just under 12 minutes left to go, and that, that brings the score 8 points to 12, uh, 8 points to 10. Still to hook younger uh, with this kick, if you can get this kick over, uh, that'll tie the game up. But, it, you know, we've still got 12 or so minutes left. Anything can happen. Mm. But they finally got over. That's the thing. This brutal uh, hook younger defence has been, uh, had their number most of the game. But they still found a way. Oh, unfortunate Foxy misses it. Um, they still found a way to get over the try line mm. uh, with some pretty much unconservative type of football, and that's and that's how they were able to get out. So maybe maybe they need to change things up. Maybe what we, you and I are saying mm. about taking mm. three up isn't working for them. But they were able to get over. But I'm just that hook young, um, brutal hook young yep. defense. Um, I'm loving that and the way they run. So it's, it's pretty close in the game now, my bro. And um, you know, and uh, Waikato Māori have crawled themselves uh, back up into uh, into uh, being two points behind hook uh, Having said that, hook have been dealt a few disadvantages through penalties, um, and so they're, they're unfortunate in that uh, sense. And also uh, having one of their players off. Um, but, um, you know, the, their momentum, I think, Hokianga has been really, really re, uh, resilient in terms of uh, fighting off the onslaught towards Wakata Māori. Um, that um, uh, one-handed pass there that was given by Ruby Jean Kunard um, uh, reminds me of uh, the, the old Shane Hansen of uh, Auckland in the days, uh, way, way back in the early 90s, uh, watching guys like that do passes like that uh, from out of the... You know, and here she goes now, the old one-handed uh, godster there. She's, um, uh, she, she plays, she's actually up, when you look at it, she seems to be a centre, uh, second rower in terms of the, the shape mm. and her body. But she actually plays prop for her club side over in Sydney. Um, and she's fitted into this team really well. Yep. The girls have gotten on to her, so, you know, I think, ko te ahua tango te maori, my brothers, us, if, if you do the mahi, people love you. Yep. Uh, you know, you... Uh, our, our Māori people are quite tough people and uh, if you talk and don't do nothing, they'll tell you about it. Yep. But uh, Ruby's fitted in, she's done her job. Oh, nice kick there by the Mayan, might have been a look. Well, there we go. Top right, good, good tackle there good by tackle number there. 16, around the legs. Uh, oho. As she chases out again from dummy half, here in Picky Minute. Oh, knock on, oh, knock, knock on, cut by Oho and Piki. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, uh, hook young uh, knocked the ball. So they've got just nine minutes to go, my mate, um, to be able to get some more points on the board, Waikato. Yeah. It's going to be tough because you and I both seen that the uh, hook, how, how the hook young defences. I it's don't think uh, Waikato Māori have quite constructed the, the, some of their plays here. Um, and uh, although hook young are down with one, one player, they've been able to still. Uh, uh, defense on the onslaught there from Wakata Māori and they're just holding out, you know, um, so they're very lucky in that sense that um, with time ticking away, they, if they hold off Wakata Māori, uh, will he, you know, it'll, it'll be uh, quite impressive in terms of the response that's going to come from Wakata Māori from here on in. Well, could have, been a, could have been a three-on-one opportunity but they decided to come Absolutely. left. So now we've gone back in, see, and you know that their right hand side is what Waka Tamari should be able to try and work with. Uh, they've actually got to get it further than just these ones here in the middle. Now, now these I mean, gap out there. Their right hand up. side is open. Here we've got Big Shine. Oh, here we go, yes. Good try, Shine. Good try. Good try. And, uh, that's, that's what Waka Tamari needed. They needed that opportunity to be able to um, have those forwards start rolling forward. And they're lucky with uh, with uh, Hook Younger having one man down. Here we see um, uh, uh, the big um, great yards for us. Ruby, Ruby Jean uh, yeah. Kennard moving forward. And then we got Nga uh, Makawe and Hooker there coming into Big Chayan, the number eight. Uh, there's Big Chayan for uh, Wakata Māori under 60. Plays for the club uh, uh, Tani Fro uh, Rugby League for the women's side. And uh, initially from Hukunui uh, Club. See, so that's, uh, that, that's the leadership standing up there. Piki and Oho uh, in there with the defence, which made that uh, girl drop the ball, had the scrum, Muckle off the back, and then you've got Muckle directing from dummy half there. 
uh, and a show new experience and bringing shy back on the inside yep. when you're running that fast and you're running with mm. passion it's it's hard to stop anybody so yep. um you know the hook younger girls would have given their best shot no doubt mm. but we, uh, we need anybody. to see more of shy and actually start running like that will he uh uh you know to get that momentum going for the um for the maoris for the wakapu maori side yeah um, she's devastating when she's, she's running moving here yeah. So there we are, Fano. We've got um, uh, 12 10 now to Wakato Māori, or 14 10, sorry, uh, uh, leading uh, the Hokianga Storm, Wakato Māori. Um, it's a very close game here. Um, both sides are pretty much even. Um, unfortunately, the, the Hokianga Storm have encroached in a number of uh, penalties which have uh, forced them to be able to fight their way back. Um, hopefully, with the extra player back on field, the uh, you know, we can see a bit more of a challenge uh, going in towards our dying minutes. So we're just under six minutes now, Fano, before we... Uh, and that's under ref's time. Um, and, and that's what we're going to see here. Good, smart little kickoff. Oh, oh. Good, smart kickoff from uh, the Hukianga Storm, but unfortunately never paid off for, for them. It would have. Um, now we see that Wakata Māori are trucking it out and just making the metres. Um, but Storm have got it in with two of their players... Uh, uh, on defense. Yeah, that was a very clever kickoff. Um, Waikato never snapped onto it. I mean, the two people standing on their team meter line didn't even move. So, you know, everybody's got to get onto the, yep. um, get into it and start being on. I mean, yes, you are ahead 14 10, but you want to stay ahead. Yep. And then everybody's urgency just needs to uh, come up a little bit more. Then we the see what's the body now shifting it out to the right hand side, shifting it wide. We've got a now good clear space for them to open up and start to fill in that ball out to the left hand side out towards the wingers. Oh, tell me here, uh, Pierre Foyda, he makes it onto the field uh, for the last five minutes. Uh, she must have uh, subbed off um, one of the centres there. Uh, brings Ohorere over to the left hand side uh, from the right hand side. So there's just four and a half minutes left to go, my way. Um, and, and Waikato in the set. In the area they need to be. Yeah. And they, they, as long as they can persevere, bro, and just all they need to do, bro, is just just settle their play. They're winning. Yeah. They don't really need to score anymore. No. The they, leadership all they have they, to do is just settle in their play, and then just keep the defense up. Yep. Their leadership uh, hopefully yep. stands up again, uh, and which they have been majority of the game, and they have been all campaign. So. Yep. So what I would be doing here if I was coach is just telling them to settle their play. And probably just get a little kick in from yeah. behind, bro. Hold, hold that ball and just yeah, hold the ball and uh, great passing. Once you've finished your five, ensure that that ball gets in behind the uh, right. goal yeah. post. And they just need to apply the pressure on defense. You know, the hundred meters upfield, so it's it's a fight for the hooker and the storm to try and get downfield with their ball. Lamaya takes it back to the right hand side. Is a he's an opening to the right side. Their left hand side should be rolling around. Left hand side defense but, was yeah rushed up. Oh. Blocking that area. Good tackling defense there from the hooky on the storm. Here we got that ball coming out wide. Oh, yeah. Yes, and here we oh. Ooh, and apparently that's a knock on, on there, isn't it? On off, uh, knock on there, boy. And then we have a hooky on the storm. Are lucky in that sense there, Willie, that they've been able to. Uh, have a bit of a breather there from the onslaught def um, attack from Wakata Māori. Um, as I said before, all is Wakata Māori need to do is just work on their defence now and good, just keep them good out. Good defence from uh, yep. Marka there. From it's all they've got to do is put pressure on the defence. Yep. They're already winning, so they don't need to do anything silly here. They just need to tighten up their D. They if they can last... Whana Takahuni from Page uh, worked well, unfortunately. It just never worked off, but uh, like you were saying... We don't make our tackles, keep them down here, All right. and keep the intensity up. Yep. Just over two minutes to go uh, as uh, Hook Younger kick it over the top, taken well by Dawn. Yes, as it comes to the left hand side, down. Boston. Ohorere uh, into dummy half. She'll take it to the open, uh, as, as, as your coach has, has told them. And they take it to the open from there. Oh, we have a casualty. Hopefully she's all right. The, the old number 18 from Hook Younger. Oh, look at that. 
Even though she's from Hokianga, of the opposition, they'll girls still get in there in Arohei. Manaki, making sure she's... Two minutes uh, left to go in this uh, half final. And we see Waka Tamari in the lead, just, just by, by four points. There's still anybody's game in here. Um, but again, we're on the ref's time. He's probably, uh, the trainer's probably asking you what day it is. Yeah. Uh, where are you? You know, the three three questions you get asked when you uh, had a bit of a head knock. Mm. You say the rest pulled up time. Uh, just a minute and 20 odd, minute 30. We're on the ref's time finally, so uh, according to ours, ours is a minute 30. And there we are finally, the, 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 the hood is just gone. And it's Waka the Māori ball, so they should just kill the ball. Should. <laughs> oh, the ref. The, uh, the two trainers for Waikato Didi to leave the field. Um, the ref blows back on the whistle, back on time. Uh, Kelly Clark taking the hit up, offload off to the Māori Inoka. Yeah, need that inside ball, eh? No one to cut on the inside. Uh, unfortunately, nobody uh, running with it. Yeah. Bringing the, bring the defence line, cutting cutting her to bring the defence line in. Oh. And there we have it, Will. The final uh, uh, whistle from our ref, and uh, uh, the score goes 14-10 uh, to Wakatamani against the Hokianga Storm. Um, unfortunately for the Hokianga Storm, um, I, I, uh, I thought they were actually the better side um, in terms of momentum. There's a lot to forward. like. There's a lot to like about that hook younger yep. side, and and, and um, I don't think this will be the last we see of them. Um, yeah. I, you know, if they have a great rest of the day and and, and the game tomorrow, we could actually quite see this. Um, I'm not saying anything too much there, finally. Could yep. actually quite see this as as a possible final, final. Yep. Um, and I think they will would have learnt from this game. So, yeah, I I Waikato. Um, I've liked everything about my uh, my whānau up in the hook young there. Uh, and, and everything they've played. Um, Waikato got a, a little bit to work on. Um, but they've still got two hoi this afternoon uh, at 3.30. And I believe uh, hook young whānau have uh, Ngāpuhi. All right, finally, that's us. It's a wrap. Uh, welcome to Māori Kotiro under 18 uh, winning against the uh, Hokianga Storm 14 to 10. Uh, so that's uh, from uh, myself, uh, Iru Whare, uh, no Waikato. And uh, myself, Willie Beasy, Waikato, and unfortunately, well, not fortunately, or unfortunately, also from Ngāpuhi te Hokianga. Uh, ko māwa ko Iru tēnā e mihi ana, e pā 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 hoa ana, kia koutou i tēnā ira. Hai. Kia ora tātou, whānau. In all my life, maybe order.